You don't need to know music theory in order to play guitar. Picture this. You're going to drive somewhere today. So you get in your car and someone's coming with you. Okay. And they say, right, put the key in the ignition. So you put the key in the ignition, car starts. Okay, great, car started. Now I want you to shift into first gear or shift into drive. And I want you to accelerate to the end of the drive. I want you to turn left. So you do all of those things and then you're on the road. Okay, great, you're on the road. And the person next to you said, right, this is a 30 mile an hour zone. You need to stay at 30. You go, right, I'm going to stay at 30, cool. And then the person next to you says, right, we've entered a much faster road. We're on a 60 mile an hour road now. And you say, right, we need to accelerate to 60. Okay, great. And the person next to you says, right, we've got a junction coming up. Uh, the traffic light's on red. Can you see that? Yes, I can see that. Uh, I want you to slow down. And I want you to stop at the traffic light and wait for the traffic to go across. Okay, great. Excellent. And then the person next to you said, right, the, the light's gone yellow. That means get ready to go. Orange, should I say. Okay, now the light's gone green. Go. So you accelerate away safely. So at this point, wouldn't it be much easier if you knew how your car worked and if you knew the rules of the road? Okay, so not knowing music theory is sort of like knowing all the individual routes, but not knowing the rules of the road. It just makes things a little bit harder. However, I'm not saying, I'm still not saying that you need music theory to play guitar because you absolutely don't. You can pick up a guitar, you can strum a D chord. Now, as a slight tangent, you may argue that knowing this is a D chord is a bit of theory. So there is that argument as well, but say for argument's sake, right, you can play a bunch of chords. Maybe that is enough for you as a guitar player, and that's completely fine, okay? It's basically camp number one, the non-theory camp, okay? And then in camp number two, are people who want to make things as easy as possible. So they want to learn how to play technically, but they also want to learn all of the underlying rules, how things are interconnected with one another. And I think for that type of person, and this will be probably most musicians, and I'm talking about sort of session musicians or wedding musicians or, you know, a lot of YouTubers as well. Uh, guitar teachers definitely will want to know their theory because it's important to them. These, these two ideas often come into conflict and I, I think they can coexist and they do coexist and nobody really needs to kind of get into conflict over these things. I don't think, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it has to be one or the other. I think I can say as somebody who likes the theoretical side very much and I find that I benefit from it and I find that I can see all the interconnected relationships. I can hear a song. For instance, when I'm in a lesson with a student, they might have a song that they want to learn. And so I've never heard it before. And rather than having to go away and spend time learning it and learn all of the individual chords, because I know the rules of the road, so to speak, I know the theory behind it. I can pick up on the chord progression and the different sections and things stick out to me. So I can learn a song very, very quickly and teach it to them kind of more or less on the spot within, you know, a five minute period or something like that. OK. So these are the things that theory will enable you to do. It will accelerate your learning and you'll learn the interconnected relationships between things. So. I want to know your thoughts, though. I want to know if there's anything that I've missed. There certainly seems to be. There certainly seems to be uh, uh, two opposing arguments. You do need theory. You don't need theory. Whereas I actually think they're both true, just depending on who you are and what you want to achieve with the guitar and how seriously you want to take it. I would 
argue that the more serious you take it, the more likely you're going to have to eventually learn some theory in order to push through the plateau, get over the hurdle and understand what it is that you're doing. Um, that's what I think, but I want to know what you think. Stick a comment down below and let me know, you know, are you a theory person? Are you not a theory person? Do you think people need to argue this out or do you think that we should just let each other get on with it?